At the outset, I want to stress three things as a backdrop to everything else that my colleagues and I are presenting today. First, as I mentioned at the outset, Collection Letter 702 has produced and continues to produce intelligence that is vital to protect the nation against international terrorism and other threats. Secondly, there are important legal limitations found within Section 702 of FISA, and let me no uh, note four of these legal limitations. First, the authorities granted under Section 702 may only be used to target foreign persons located abroad for foreign intelligence purposes. Secondly, they may not be used to target U.S. persons anywhere in the world. Third, they may not be used to target anyone located inside the United States, regardless of their nationality. And fourth, they may not be used to target a foreign person when the intent is to acquire the communications of a U.S. person with whom a foreign person is communicating. This is generally referred to as the prohibition against reverse targeting. The third item I would like to stress is that we are committed to ensuring that the intelligence community's use of 702 is consistent with the law in the protection of the privacy and civil liberties of Americans. And to that end, in the nearly 10 years since Congress enacted the FAA, there have been no instances of intentional violations of Section 702. I'd like to repeat that. In the nearly 10 years since Congress enacted the amendments to the Freedom Act, uh, the act that established uh, FISA, there have been no instances of intentional violations of Section 702. With those points as a backdrop, now let me turn to a discussion of why it became necessary for Congress to enact Section 702. I do this so that the American public can hopefully better understand the basis for this important law. The Foreign Intelligence and Surveillance Act was first passed in 1978, creating a way for the federal government to obtain court orders for electronic surveillance of suspected spies, terrorists, and foreign diplomats located inside the United States. <clears throat> When originally enacting FISA, Congress decided that collection against targets located abroad would generally be outside of their regime, FISA's regime. That decision reflected the fact that people in the United States are protected by the Fourth Amendment, while foreigners located abroad are not. 